Hello my friends and welcome to my channel Maine's Mind. So today I'm going to be reviewing a series called The Crow's Feet Coven. This series is made up of three books, Writing Wrongs, Brewing Trouble, and Stealing Time by Christine Gale. So before we get started, please don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell so you can get notifications when I post new content. And let's get started. So as always, if you haven't read this book yet, pause, go read it, and come back. So The Crow's Feet Coven falls in a genre known as paranormal women's fiction. So if you haven't heard of this genre yet, this genre, the main characters in this story are usually like middle-aged women. They've dealt with things such as divorce, uh, menopause, hot flashes, they've raised adult children, um, and so if you're an older woman, or I say older, I don't feel older, but it's kind of where I'm at in life, um, you know, it, it kind of resonates with you. And, and even if you're not, it's just a really neat little genre. The storyline is really good. Um, so this is one author that falls in this genre. In this book, your main character is Cricket Hawthorne. Cricket Hawthorne is getting a divorce from her husband, Greg, and she has lived... Uh, and she has moved back in with her grandmother, who she calls Mima. Her Mima's name is Dorothea. Uh, and she's working at her cousin Zoe's bakery. Well, she goes into this one little shop, Connie's Curiosities. And when she's there, she like is attracted to this old typewriter. And so she, she buys it. You know, she goes ahead and gets it and she takes it home. And... Uh, she has this strong desire to type on it. And so she's, you know, just kind of like, well, I'm going to do this. And grandma's like, you know, you need to come up with a plan for your life. And she ends up going in that night to sit down and start typing on it. And she's kind of blank. But then she gets into an argument with her soon-to-be ex-husband, Greg. And she types away. Says so she types all night. You know, and the next day, something strange happens. The story that she typed came true. And so she's like, oh my God, you know, what happened? I got a cursed typewriter. Oh my God. Well, come to find out, you know, long story short, this isn't a cursed typewriter. It's a magical item that has found its owner. And she is the witch that is connected with this typewriter. She eventually does some research and she gets the help of this um, librarian to kind of do some research and her meme all. And they kind of find out that this is the crow's feet coven that is women in their later years who start to develop these magical powers. But the problem here is that this organization, and they call it the organization, AKA Illuminati, but not really, you know, so it's the organization. They're, they have a history of going around and allowing witches to come into their power so that they can charge their magical items, then stealing these items from the witches by doing a spell that like makes it so anybody can use these magical items and then they kill the witch. Well, now they're after Cricket. And she is forced to let Mima and her cousin Zoe in on what's going on. And they right away become suspicious because there's two men that show up in her life. Ethan, who is a man that she's known since she was young and they have a history together and this handsome man named Patrick who's very charismatic and attractive and everything else um so they start kind of like being suspicious suspicious of these guys and trying to find out uh which one's legit or if they're both just after her magical item and anyways she ends up getting captured by the organization they do this spell that disconnects her from her magical item, which is the typewriter, and they hang her. And you think, oh my gosh, she's going to die. You know, and you're like, oh, you know, poor Cricket. Oh my God, you know. But then right then she, I'm not going to tell you who, but she comes in and she gets rescued. And um, she gets taken into the next story. You know, so Cricket has two children that live they don't live with their husband, Greg, but they're more attached to her ex-husband, Greg, than they are her. As a matter of fact, they're angry with her and blaming her and blaming her for the failure of her marriage. 
um, you know, she, she got this divorce because she's at a point in her life where she's already lived her life with Greg. She's raised her children and she doesn't love him. She wants to have an opportunity to find this great love like the kind her parents had. Um, and so she gets this divorce, uh, you know, to go on and live her life full of uncertainty, but her children are like really upset with her for this. So they don't really see her or talk to her very much. Um, anyways, as the story progresses and we go into book two, we find out that her cousin Zoe is actually a member of this crow's feet coven and it takes about three members to make up a full coven. And in the last book we discover, you know, grandma, Mima, is a member of this coven as well. So there's so many secrets that are revealed in this story over time, you know, and it's got some really exciting parts. Like there's one part where they're like fighting in a graveyard and it's like bones coming after them. And it's like, okay, intense. And then there's one part where her daughter gets involved in all of this mess. And if you want to talk about, you know, pulling on some heartstrings, being able to resonate as a mama, that's like, you know, that pulls out the mama bear in you. And you're like, oh my God, she did not just mess with her daughter. You know, and so you want to get in there and go help her out. It's just a really good story that kind of pulls you in. And it's not an extremely long story. So it's not like you're reading and reading and reading and reading and reading and never reaching the end. You know, it's like I was reading, you know, I was reading and it was like, wait, this book's over already? I was so into it that I completely lost track of time. And I couldn't believe that it was over. I was like, man, where's the next one? You know, so I had to go buy the next one. In case you haven't figured out, I'm a little bit addicted to a uh, series. <laughs> Um, anyways, so I highly recommend this book. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I do not do paid reviews. You get reviews for books that I enjoy. This is a series and a book that I really enjoyed. If it's not one that wasn't really my cup of tea, you're not going to hear about it. Or maybe I'll do a review about books that I couldn't really get into. But, um, this is not one of those. This is a really good book. Um, I enjoyed it. If you're into this kind of stuff, even if you're not, I highly recommend it. The writing is good. It's descriptive. Uh, the language is very authentic. So I definitely recommend going and checking it out. It's definitely one that I add to my list of, yeah. Anyways, so um, like I said, this is not a paid review but I am an Amazon affiliate, so I will post the affiliate links below. If you click on the link and order the book through there, I get a small, 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 small little percentage of that. So that's all I have for you today. So please don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell so you get notifications when I post new content. And until next time, my friends.